This video provides you with an overview of the Intelligent Services Gateway Portal Logon feature for an IP subscriber. Cisco's Intelligent Services Gateway provides rationalization of divergent edge technologies, is access agnostic, facilitates sophisticated and dynamic subscriber session management, allows consistent application of policies, allows customizable policy control, has pluggable features, access protocols and network services, and has distributed packet processing capabilities. Here is an overview of ISG's Portal Logon feature. This feature facilitates account logon by redirecting the user to the portal server for authentication purposes. Once the user credentials are authenticated, the user can select or modify the services available on the portal. Now let's see what happens when an ISG user tries to log on to the network to access an available service. The user types the address of the service in the address bar of the browser. This information is passed on to the ISG through the Digital Subscriber Line Access Multiplexer or the DSLAM. The DSLAM is connected to a group of routers that form the L2-L3 access network. The ISG recognizes this as a new user and starts a new ISG session. The ISG redirects the user to the portal server where the user types the username and password. The portal server sends the user credentials to the ISG through account logon. The ISG sends this information to the AAA server which in turn retrieves the user profile for authentication purposes. The AAA server authenticates the user profile and sends this information back to the ISG. On successful authentication, the ISG enables the user's auto logon services. The user now has full access to the network. ISPs use Radius servers to authenticate and authorize users and services. Now let's try and understand the service logon workflow. Once the user is successfully authenticated, the user has full access to the network. The user can now access or modify any service available on the network. Let's take an example. Here is a user who wants to upgrade the service from a 512 kbps package to a 1 mbps package. Since the user is already authenticated through account logon, the user can directly access the service portal by typing the address of the portal into the address bar. The portal sends a service logon message to the ISG informing the ISG of the service requested by the user. To allow the user to access the services, the ISG requires the service definition associated with the service. The ISG retrieves the service definition from the AAA server and uses this information to give the user access to the required service. The user can now enjoy the upgraded service. This video provided you with an overview of the Intelligent Services Gateway Portal Logon feature and explained account logon and service logon workflows.